Hi, my name is Becky. I'm the collection manager here at the Durham Museum, and I'm going to show you some cookbooks that we have in our collection. And they illustrate um, some different reasons why people might put out cookbooks um, and will help inform uh, your knowledge of cooking. The first one we have here is one that is a victory cookbook. So you might be able to guess this was put out during World War II. And this one specifically uh, is sugar saving recipes. So cookbooks were put out, especially at this time, uh, as part of being patriotic, um, just like rationing other things or victory gardens, um, doing your part by cooking things without using a lot of sugar was important. Now this one also uh, mentions in there, you know, you need to save sugar, but you also need to keep your morale up at home for your family, speaking to women specifically. Um, so here are some treats you can make, things like that. One of my favorite things that I found in here is there are a bunch of recipes. You can see this has been used a lot, lots of stains from use. Um, that there's ones for candies, which you would think would need a lot of sugar. But this one says using no white sugar, but plenty of nuts. Um, and I will say there's a lot of corn syrup used in these recipes. So that's how they kind of worked around that a little bit. Um, so yeah, so especially at this time during World War II, uh, cookbooks uh, and cooking were used uh, as a way to be patriotic and to help do your part on the home front. Another reason people might have put out cookbooks was for fundraising uh, or community building. So even in the most recent, more recent past, um, booster clubs, things like that, they put out cookbooks to raise money. Um, I know in my home, I had some even from when my mom was in you know, high school band, they put those out. Now those were pretty low budget affairs, no advertising, but the ones we have here are actually kind of interesting um, because they're put out by church groups and they do have advertising in them. So this one, is by the First Central Congregational Church. You can see it's actually a nice hardbound book, which was interesting. Um, and then it's got lots of advertising in there. So not only were they um, putting this out for their congregants um, and the community at large, they were trying to help local businesses as well. Um, this one too was from a Presbyterian church in Omaha. And this actually is kind of dotted throughout with um, little bits of information and some nice, um, colorful photos or paintings. So this one was interesting. It's a little bit more of like a lifestyle book, um, but it also has recipes in there too. One that we have that isn't from a church group is uh, this Woodman Circle cookbook put out by the Laraca Tally Guards, which is an interesting piece of Woodman of the World history, Woodman of the World insurance group. Um, these guards seem to be a female-led group we have kind of a list of them in here and also the committee on the cookbook uh, that they put out. So this one is interesting too because it's not a faith-based uh, thing or, or any sort of school, um, but this was trying to foster community within a business um, and kind of show appreciation for uh, this group of people that were putting this cookbook out. Another reason people put out cookbooks, which is very relevant today and has been for a very long time is uh, dieting or lifestyle. So um, lots of cookbooks, you know, follow this plan and your life's going to be great. You're going to get the body you want, that kind of thing. If you think that's only recently, think again. This was published in 1917. Uh, this is Food and Life, Eating Right and, uh, Eat Right and Be Normal, which I think is just such a funny title because it tells you exactly what they want you to know. Um, so this one, as opposed to some of the other ones that I'll show you after this, wasn't specifically aimed at women uh, as the buyer of this. A lot of times they were, but this is really interesting. It was put out by a drug company in Omaha here. So this just has all sorts of recipes, special recipes, different menus as well for different stages of life. So whether there's some ones in here for pregnancy, um, there's other ones for different ailments that you might have, all about trying to um, be a little bit more holistic, even though put out by a drunk company, um, and help you live your best life through uh, food and cooking. Now these two cookbooks that I have for you today are ones that really illustrate cooking was really part of what women were expected to do in the women's sphere. These two cookbooks really drive that home, uh, both by addressing specifically um, women in these books and also 
mentioning you know that they were the ones that would be doing the purchasing for things as well as the cooking so both of these have uh, dedications that really uh, reinforce uh, those stereotypes and um, that are kind of powerful to to hear about now this one is from the Danish group in Omaha their dedication of their book is we the assembly of Danish women of Omaha dedicate this little cookbook to the gentlemen of the assembly you who are brave enough to scorn reducing diets are the inspiration for us to serve the favorite dishes and to seek new ones it is with pride that we have gathered in this little pamphlet the good foods that we remember grandmother set upon her well-filled table the tasty meals that mother prepared and also the new kind of dishes that daughter is making glance through the following pages and you will see that we are not gathered together solely for the purpose of the progress of the arts that are a thing of beauty to the intellect but that we are also interested in the good old-fashioned art of serving delicious meals this one here was put out by Paxton and Gallagher in Omaha and they have a long history here of selling dry goods in the very early days they expanded butternut coffee was one of their big brands that they had so this one specifically since it's a diamond jubilee they kind of harken back to older times and their dedication is to the women of the great west whose courage and family devotion brought comforts and civilization to the prairie country and an appreciation of the privilege of serving them we gratefully dedicate this our diamond jubilee cookbook so there they mention you know they're honoring the women of the west who came here first you know making a nod to the fact that throughout this history of the west women have been the ones to bring comfort um, and civilization as they say uh, to the west through their homemaking and things like that 